So we're going to be going through regressions other than linear, so nonlinear regressions, things that don't make lines, but they do make other shapes. We talked about regressions a little earlier in the year, and uh, you can find all types of regressions on your calculator by first doing stat and going to edit to enter all your data in, and then pushing stat, pushing your arrow over to calculate, and then as you look down the list, everything from, I believe it's 4 all the way down to A, so 4 all the way through A, are your different regressions. And you'll notice things on there like lin, which is linear, um, ln, is going to be log. You'll see PWR, which is power, a power regression. Uh, what other ones are on there? Let's see. Oh, you have quad reg, which is quadratic. And there's, there's several more. So, when you're looking at these, you'll notice that if you do the scatter plot, it'll make different shapes. So an exponential regression, something that follows an exponential pattern, will go through the point uh, 0, 1 right here, and it'll be curving up. Um, or it will be going in the opposite way and curving down. A logarithmic function is going to follow just like the graph does. It's never going to touch 0, and it's going to come up, or it's going to come down like this. But it never crosses that axis right here. A power, a power function does go through the point zero, 0, and it curves up like so, or it arcs like this. Um, and the important part is that does go through the point zero, 0, Quadratic regressions look just like a parabola. They follow a parabola pattern. And a cubic function actually makes kind of like a little swish. Like it'll be on its way down, it'll hesitate for a second, and then keep going down. Or it'll be on its way up, it'll hesitate for a second, and then keep going up. So those are some uh, some re shapes that your scatter plots can take. So the regressions will be either um, exponential, which is expreg, logarithmic, which is, I should write this down. So this is expreg, logarithmic, which is ln reg, uh, power, which is PWR reg. Quadratic, as I said a minute ago, is quad reg. And cubic, which is cube reg. So when trying to determine which regression model to use, you should look at the correlation coefficient, which in your calculator, that's the lowercase r squared. So look at the, lower, the correlation coefficient, which is r squared, for each regression type. So you do each one out. You'll list out the r squared values for each one and see which one is closest, which is closest to 1. And that should be the one you choose. That should be the regression that you choose. Um, we're actually going to go through this example in class because if you don't have a calculator in front of you, it's not going to make very much sense at all because you need to do everything in your calculator. So that's the extent of the video. I just wanted you to have those little bit of notes. We're going to go through A, B, C, and D um, in class tomorrow. We'll make notes on how to do it. So I hope you have a wonderful evening. Make sure you get your weekly review done, and I will see you tomorrow.